Hi and welcome. This cybersecurity news was published by the Hacker News on 5th November 2018. And basically, researchers from Netherlands discovered a vulnerability in SSDs where you can in, uh, decrypt uh, the data of SSDs without uh, knowing their passwords. Now, this is the title of this news and this is the uh, date and this is the website. So this uh, feature of SSD to encrypt data is called self-encrypting SSD or solid state disk. And uh, they have discovered this uh, vulnerability or multiple vulnerabilities in different models of SSDs or solid state disk. So uh, basically the uh, researchers uh, were from the Redbound University in Netherlands and they reverse engineered the firmware of various uh, SSDs uh, which offered hardware based full disk encryption and now they have published their research uh, so they say that uh, these models of ssds that is crucial and samson uh, are affected by this vulnerability and they have found multiple flaws in their implementation and you can uh, decrypt uh, the data of these uh, self encrypting ssds uh, without knowing their password So here they have uh, uh, discussed these vulnerabilities in a table. So basically a hacker can acquire the data encryption key of SSD without the uh, knowing the password by modifying the password validation routine in the RAM and using the JTAG debugging interface. So basically uh, the device debugging ports are used to access the firmware of the device and to then to access uh, the uh, password validation uh, routine and then they modify this uh, uh, password validation routine to decrypt the data of SSDs without knowing the password because there is no linkage between the password of uh, the SSD and uh, their uh, encryption routine. So they say that the crucial uh, this model of SSD has a JTAG uh, port but it, it is disabled by the default so therefore they found another way uh, that is uh, the MAF, uh, master password uh, is an empty string by default if it is not modified by the user. So you can actually insert this empty string to, act, to uh, uh, get uh, the or to decrypt uh, the data without uh, knowing the custom password set by the user and in Samsung SSD there is a feature which is called uh, wear leveling uh, feature and this feature actually move uh, the uh, static data to a different physical location in the SSD uh, but data even after uh, uh, moving to the different location remains present on the old location uh, until it is overwritten so if the this encryption key is uh, stored unprotected and afterward it is uh, reallocated or moved to a different uh, 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 space on the ssd but the unencrypted version of this uh, this encryption key is remains available uh, on the old location because it is never overwritten then they can get this encryption key to decrypt the data by exploiting this severe uh, leveling feature of SSD of Samsung. And now they, uh, they say that uh, the BitLocker actually support uh, the hardware based encryption uh, over the software based encryption by default. So if any SSD is of offering the feature of self encryption, then uh, this hardware based encryption uh, BitLocker uh, uses this in, uh, feature instead of using its own encryption so then it is uh, uh, vulnerable to uh, this exploit and then you can uh, uh, remediate uh, this by uh, following these steps by changing uh, the uh, settings in local uh, uh, group policy editor or gp edit so you can basically go to this uh, 
location and then you can change the settings and disable this hardware based encryption. So they say that you can also use the open source uh, the tool Vera Crypt uh, to encrypt your window based uh, hardware disk or any other drive because this Vera Crypt also supports Windows 7 and uh, the home edition of Windows 10. Now they say that uh, these two researchers reported their vulnerability to Crucial and Samson before going public. And uh, they, uh, these both vendors issued uh, or rolled out uh, the security patches. And for uh, Evo drives of Samsung, uh, Samsung recommended that uh, to use uh, the uh, software based encryption uh, freely available online, which is compatible with these SSDs of Samsung. So basically, they say that any proprietary encryption standard or encryption uh, implementation. Uh, should be made public uh, in order uh, uh, to uh, for security assessment of these kind of proprietary algorithms by uh, and because uh, these proprietary algorithms are uh, very uh, weak in comparison to the uh, algorithms which are publicly available because they have been scrutinized uh, by the world. Now over here Samsung issued uh, the uh, patch and uh, their uh, and uh, windows uh, over here published the advisory to configure the bit locker to enforce software based encryption instead of using the self encrypting uh, feature of ssds And here on the website of National Cybersecurity Center of Netherlands, they have published this research earlier in April 2018. So this was all from my side. Uh, more one thing. Here is the paper they have published. So I have put in all the links in the description. Uh, please stay connected uh, to my channel for similar news. Thank you.